I'm Odette Worrell, and this is Mayor Woody McDuffie, um, and we are going to ask him a few questions because this is the last day that we're going to be working with the mayor. And my first question, Woody, is how has working with Michelle and I affected your health and the quality of your life? In, in both areas, it's been very, very positive. It's, it's been positive in that I've lost weight. Yeah. Good job. Hurrah. <laughs> uh, I've lost weight. I feel better. Um, I also understand more about some things that I knew a little about that now make a lot more sense in nutrition. I was already, uh, and, and I think you said you were too, a South Beach person. You got started out on the South Beach diet, and I found things by working the South Beach diet that caused me to lose weight. But one of the unfortunate things is it also, um, it, it, I rebounded from that and came back and gained the weight back again. Um, and uh, we discussed why that happened. We don't have a long enough. And, and, this discussion to discuss that, but uh, now I, I have a better way of coping with that. Um, Exercise-wise, as I had said, uh, I, I would fast walk, uh, but I never had a heart rate monitor. I never understood the raising my heart rate, lowering it, raising it, lowering it, like the, like I do now, uh, and and probably never in all of the years that I was actually doing that fast walk, probably never got my heart rate up to what I've gotten it up to now in just a you know, couple of short months. Right. So, um, and, and, and I'm setting an example for my family. And I, I'm, I hope they're watching. <laughs> <laughs> they will be. I hope they're I'll watching. I'll make sure. You know, and as I told you earlier this evening, I went out for the first time in many, many years, and I did the shopping this week. And, and I we're bought, so proud of you. I, bought, I know. <laughs> I bought healthy food for our house, and no one rebelled. So. That's great. That's great. Kale, collards. Although my wife did broccoli. remark, "Well, all these things take a lot of cooking." You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, can't just pull something out of a can. Well, you actually partly answered my second question, which was that you have tried different diets. And a yes. lot of people struggle with this. They go on a diet, it works, and actually statistics show that after a year, they give up. And they go back to the ways of, um, the ways that didn't work. They sabotage, in other words, their success. How has working with a health coach been different than following a diet for you? Um. I look at this, someone actually spoke to me about my diet the other day and I said I'm not on a diet. Good job. Good Yay. job. Okay. Plus diets don't work. They're restrictive. So, yeah, it's diets a punishment. don't work yes. and, and you feel deprived and you work, 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 work and deprive yourself and deprive yourself and then when you hit your goal you go, wow, I'm there and now I can reward myself and that reward becomes all the foods that you were denying yourself. So when we had some of those little talks that said, don't deny yourself, go ahead and say you're rewarding yourself for your good works and eat that little piece of chocolate or eat whatever it is. And, and I, I never looked at it that way before. Right. I looked at it like I was cheating on a diet and it, and it made me feel guilty. Well now, you know, I can go have a small bite and I think I look at it now and say, okay, I'm rewarding myself for a job well done, but don't overdo it. Right. And, uh, and, and prepare yourself to live the rest of your days uh, with, with the model that's been set today for, for eating. And actually, we've had some wonderful, nutritious meals uh, over the course of these months that are also absolutely delicious. And, and you've discovered some new things. Raw foods. I have foods discovered one. raw foods. Um, you know what kind of exercise you like and which. You yes. don't, what foods work for your body and which don't, and you certainly know how to get your heart rate up. do know how to do that, and uh, so it's just been, you know, it's been bringing several things together that I understood to some extent in, in, in when they were disjoint, when they were, were not attached to each other and there was no relationship between them, but now I'm beginning to see the relationships between mm -hmm. the, the diet the exercise, uh, you know, I can I can feel 
uh, when I'm out running, we talked about not using a monitor sometimes. Well, I can feel when I've reached right. certain heart rates. I know what it feels like now. Um, so, it's, uh, and, and, and this is just the beginning. You know, we're, we're talking tonight because it's our last night together yeah. doing this, but not the last night in my lifetime for us to do this, yeah. just the last night in this, in this session. But I, I, I hope to continue this for as long as I live. And uh, one of the things that I hope to be able to do is, when I'm out of office, which will be a little over two years mm -hmm. from now, is to spend a little more time exercising. And as you know, I like to do it outside. So, well, you know, Michelle and I are completely and entirely available to keep you company while you do that. Thank you.